Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kumi Trent. Today we're working on an easy abstract watercolor landscape using three techniques. We use a credit card, rubbing alcohol, and acrylic inks. These are fun, simple, easy techniques to do. You'll be amazed what you can create with them. Um, I also want to let you know I have another channel called Amazing Art. You can see it right there down below on the home page under my other channels. Please check that out and subscribe. They're fun, easy tutorials under 30 minutes um, using palette knives and fan brushes, all kinds of stuff. Very simple if you want to try acrylic paints. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know when my videos are up. They're kind of sporadic these days because life is a little crazy these days, as you know. Um, but that's how it is. Anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll try and get back to them. And, uh, let's get started. All right, we're gonna go over supplies. I have arches, 100% cotton paper. Um, I taped down with Scotch Magic Tape. Um, I always put it on, like I show you a million times, clothing first, and then I tape it down so it's not so sticky. Um, it's taped on a piece of cardboard. I have paper towel, my various paints I'll be using, water up here. We might be using some rubbing alcohol uh, for some fun little techniques and some uh, if you have any acrylic inks, these are great. Um, if you don't, no big deal. Don't have to do that. So we're going to start off. This is such an easy landscape to do. I'm going to take a fairly big brush. I have this Princeton 12 Neptune series. You can find some Neptune series brushes on Amazon. They come in a pack of four. I have a little of this cerulean blue here. It's got a little green tinge to it because there was some paint already in my palette. And see, I'm painting on the paper towel to see how the color is going to look. And it looks a little bright, so I'm going to add a little black. A little more. Dull it down a little more. So you, know, you can see what it looks like on the paper towel. Now it's got this grayish color that I like. We're going to start by painting the background mountains. Just simple little mountains. We're not going to go totally across. Just like that. And we're not going to fill it all the way down. And then we're going to start by doing some land series over here. Now I've got some medium green and mix with some yellow. Just pick out some greens that you like. And we're gonna just gonna go down like so. This is a fairly big brush. And we're gonna do wet on wet with charging and color. Charging and color means mixing in color with your wet media. So I'm just putting in some of the initial wash going down. Then I'll be adding in some yellow, some more of this darker green, just dabbing it up here. I've got some burnt umber. Now I've got some more water on my paintbrush. I'm going to dab that up here so it bleeds a little better. Adding in the green. Some yellow down here, some of the burnt umber, some indigo blue, Making that indigo up over here, down in here. Don't worry if it's getting dark, it's going to bleed out. You can grab whatever gray or black you have, put it in here. Now you can turn it upside down. You can see it's puddling, so grab some of that paint off. And you can spray it with one of these spray bottles so it bleeds a little bit. If it's still puddling, just grab your brush and move it around. 
and you can grab some water, just clean water on your brush, and put it next to it. And then flip it back around again. So we have like this misty abstract hill. And I'm grabbing in some different dark greens mixed with some indigo. Throwing that back in a little thicker, not as wet. A little burnt umber. Oh, that's a little too thick. No, that's okay. I'm just going to keep dabbing in some different color paints. And then we're going to take either a card or a piece of hard cardstock or cardboard. I'm going to scrape in some trees. It's really simple. I'm still going to add some more yellows. I want to make it a little brighter. Not so dark. Browns. This burnt sienna is nice. And I can go in and add some blacks too. I feel like that's getting too dark. Go back in, swoop some of that color out. some of this gray up in here. And I'll take some of that away again. So you're blending it. Whoops. That's okay. Just take some of that off. Just taking off the paint. Okay. Now you can grab a hard card. I have an old credit card here. <laughs> Lost. And just scrape in while it's still wet some trees. Just like that. How simple that is. Kind of look like trees. Now that one made it darker because the paint went into it and this one made it whiter because it was it was the paint was dry was moist it wasn't like super wet so you can scrape it and get it white so they look more like birch trees if you're going for that effect it's how you scrape the card it's a pretty cool effect And you have these simple birch trees. And the sprigs down here. And a nice misty background. Of the water. Look how pretty that is. It looks like a snowy day, but we could change that. So we're gonna fill up the hill now. I'm gonna grab some more of this paint. I'm gonna take some hooker's green and some medium green. It's fairly bright. Now, I'm gonna get this wet, even with wet, if it's green paint on here, it doesn't matter. And I'm gonna just touch in here. I'm going to grab my paint and then grab some burnt umber, stick that in there. Take some real hooker's green, just throw it right in there. I'm tilting this, by the way. As you can see, I lifted it up and tilted it. Indigo. I love indigo. It has this nice... And the hooker's green. So then you're getting a nice little hill. That's a dark green. I'm washing some of this green in here. Can add some black and gray down the bottom. Just keep 
playing around with the colors. You can add in some burnt sienna. Just move that, move all those colors around. Play around with what, how dark and light you want it. You can add some more of this indigo. Now I'm going to show you a fun, really fun thing to do. Once you get that done. This is fairly wet. I'm going to actually add some yellow in here. I'm going to brighten it up. I'll make it more of a lime green yellow. Take some of that dark color away. I'm liking the yellow in here. Yellow with a little burnt sienna. Now, if you have rubbing alcohol, just take a little, I mean, it's hard to come by right now, sadly. I put a little in the cap. Take a little crappy brush. I have a little brush here. Put it on your brush. I'm just gonna tap it like you splatter paint. Look at that. Look what it does. Is that cool? It's a really cool effect. When it's a little more damp, it will do it better because right now it's super wet. But you see how it, it the uh, the paint repels from the alcohol. And if you want to use the acrylic ink with the which I have the gold here, it's really nice. Same thing. Kind of splatter the golden. It has the same kind of effect on the wet paint repels it. So here you have a sparkly gold foreground. It's really pretty. Now we can leave it like this. We can just show like the lake, which is kind of fine. And we can go in and add some trees. Here I might just add a few little trees. I grab my paint. Hooker's green. I'll mix with some burnt umber. Making, and I'm just going to put a little island over here. And I'm going to clean up my brush. Make sure it's really clean. Get some water on it. Not too much. I dabbed it here. Put it next to the little island. And then we're just going to take some paint. I'm going to make those funky trees that I always talk about. You're just basically dabbing in thicker paint right from the tube. Little creamy. Just making these fuzzy kind of trees. You can throw in a little indigo. Put a little black down if you want. And if you want to do a reflection, clean off your brush, go underneath it, but leave a little white space. And just dab, leave it, tilt this up and dab the paint on the edge of it. Get your thicker paint. And your dark tone right here. And just tab it in like that and just hold it up. Like I'm saying, I'm leaning it up here. Don't get too close to that. And there you go. Now you'd want to wipe up the excess water that's dripping down here. And then you can go in and take a smaller brush. Smaller brush with some more creamier, thicker paint. And go and get some details. Go like that, you're lifting it, the tip of it, pushing up the paint. Same thing here. And we can use the same tool that we used before, the card. Right across. 
grab some green. That's a little too bright. I'm just diluting this little island out here a little bit. There. Now that's still very wet, so you might want to wait till it dries a bit. You can throw in a little more of this black brown, tilt it upward, make some lines going down, or just put the paint like this, going downward. And flip it over again. So you have that reflection with the trees. And then you can go and take your card again, put those trees in. Of course, they're even smaller, but. Whatever you do on the top, you kind of want to do on the bottom. And then again, if you want to splatter in some of the alcohol. Or the acrylic ink. I like the gold. It's fun. I can even them more up here so it's like a shiny gold abstract landscape I think the gold is nice I'm going back down here you could even put like some gold lines going across or even by the trees, just to highlight them. If you want to go back in and add some little bright green bushes, got some yellow, mix them with some green. You could do that. Some leaves on the trees. To other little details. If you didn't want it so dark and misty, just a punch of bright color. Just brightened it up a little bit. And don't worry if your background got a little fuzzy because you sprayed. You can go back in and fix that. I'll grab the cerulean blue again. With a little gray. Just go back in here and fix that. And again, add some of these bright green 
leaves to the trees over here. So it's kind of like a springtime. Birch tree. Just dabbing the paintbrush to make it look like leaves. And there you go. And so we'll take that up. So a couple of techniques. Fun little easy landscape tutorial. Using the card, using wet media. And there you go. Isn't that pretty? I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care. See you soon. One little thing also, if you wanted to make it more fall looking, grab some of your dark yellow or whatever orange green color you have, and you can just go in and add some of those colors in. You're just dabbing in the yellows. You know, if you want to make it summer green, if you make it more fallish, add some of those yellow colors. And it'll come up completely different. It'll have a whole different atmosphere to it. Depends on how you want it to look. how you can change it up. More yellow. And some dark green. Just thought I'd throw you that last bit in. So you can decide to make it more yellow or green. Keep playing around with it. Adding the colors that you think would work best. There's no right and wrong. There's just enjoying what you're doing. There you go. So take care. Have a great day.